Here we have the solution to the December 2006 question 1 exam paper, part B, which is the scatter diagram, and part C, which is the trend line and the equation of the single index model. As you recall, the single index model has the return on the stock on the vertical axis and the return on the market on the horizontal axis. We have the stock levels in column C and we have the market levels in column B. So first of all, we need to generate the percentage returns. So we press equals and tell to formula 100 to convert into percentages and then for the index what it is minus what it was divided by what it was and it's two decimal places which is fine we drag it to the right to get the stock data and then whichever way you're familiar with copy and paste it down so now we've got the weekly returns on in column D the market index and in column E PN, BNP Paribas so now we want to draw this the scatter diagram. So I just use my cursor keys to highlight the data. And I recall I remember that I want the return on the market on the on the horizontal axis and the return on the stock on the vertical axis. So I click here for chart wizard, XY scatter diagram, and I choose this subtype. And I click next. So here we have in column D the market returns. In column E we have the stock returns. So if I click the series tab here, I have to just make sure that they're in the right order. So on the y-axis it's got column E which is the stock returns and in the x-axis um, it has column D which is the market returns. So that's fine. The reason we've been fortunate here and it's because we've got the order is the index first which you put on the x-axis then the stock data second which it puts on the y-axis. So we just click next. I'll give it a title just given appropriate labels here in fact just to be precise we'll see weekly return I click next I do it as a new sheet I click finish I don't need this legend because there's only one series I right click on here to format the plot area I don't want the gray area like that so here we've got there's our scatter diagram as you can see if we split into four quadrants, we've got the northeast quadrant and the southwest quadrant. That is where the large majority of our dots lie. We have got some outliers here in the southeast quadrant and some here in the northwest quadrant. So that's part B done. Now let's